liberals are so deranged and emotionally unstable, they're not capable of doing day to things, like taking care of their health. And let's face it, it's only gotten worse for them under President Trump. But, at least now, they have someone to blame for all their problems, because we know they can't take responsibility. One truly out of shape feminist writer is doing just that. A writer for The Guardian is blaming President Trump for being so out of shape that she can't even open a jar. From Daily Wire, a feminist writer at The Guardian is having a hard time coping with President Donald Trump's election win. She can't even open jars now. On Thursday, in a piece that belongs on The Onion, Bridget Delaney took to publicly blaming Trump for her decision to stop going to the gym and now, subsequently, being so out of shape that she's unable to open jars and carry groceries. That's right. It's now Trump's fault feminists are out of shape. Add it to the list. The unhinged piece takes us through Delaney's shocking heartbreak over the election and her decision to skip the gym altogether. It started with a bet. Delaney, sure Hillary Clinton would take the White House, made a wager over the 2016 presidential election with her gym owner, the only person she knew who thought Trump would win. She, of course, was wrong. Thus, Delaney said she begrudgingly stayed faithful to her word and lifted the heavy amount of weight she promised she would. After Trump claimed victory, I went up to the gym in a foul mood, just effing load up the effing sled, alright, and let's get it over with, I said without much grace as I strapped a belt around my waist. Dot I pulled the sled like a human oxen while being filmed and the gym staff cheered. I did it, doubling her personal best, though, was not enough to cheer up the feminist, yeah. I could pull a pretend sled, but how was that going to help me when the world had been destroyed by nuclear weapons or climate change? After the gym, she made her way to a nearby restaurant and had an awful experience, as the food was unspeakably awful. This experience helped trigger Delaney's move to give up fitness entirely. I never went back, she said, but I also didn't return to the gym. I associated it now with Donald Trump the bad meal and pulling the sled. Delaney says she adopted Trump's style fitness, as opposed to Obama's style. In the spirit of the Donald, I drank more bottles of Diet Coke and ate more McDonald's, she mockingly wrote, adding, I didn't want to die young, so I didn't go to the gym. The writer became so weak that she was no longer strong enough to open jars and carry groceries. Delaney says she finally hit the gym this week. I returned again this week to the boredom and pain of the gym, trying to build up back to the strength I had before Trump became president, wrote Delaney. The struggle is Sisyphean. To recap, it's President Trump's fault that a feminist writer quit the gym and is so weak that she can no longer open jars. And, for those keeping score at home, it took her some 500 days to muster the strength to work out during a Trump presidency again. Has she persisted?